Welcome to the enchanting world of Coral Cove, where the sun's rays dance through the water like golden threads, weaving a tapestry of light. In this captivating tale, we follow the journey of a young boy named Max, who stumbles upon a forgotten theater. Once a vibrant hub of laughter and artistry, the puppet theater now lies shrouded in silence, its coral walls dulled by the passage of time. Join us as we dive into this mysterious adventure, uncovering secrets of a bygone era and exploring the depths of the ocean's wonders. Stay tuned to Storyteller for this mesmerizing chapter. In the heart of Coral Cove, a ten-year-old boy named Max, with tousled sandy hair and bright blue eyes that mirrored the ocean's depths, felt a flutter of excitement mixed with trepidation. The tales of the puppet show had been woven into the fabric of his childhood, stories told by the townsfolk that danced on the edges of his imagination. As Max approached the forgotten theater, the entrance framed by twisting vines of bioluminescent plants beckoned him with an irresistible allure. The water around him shimmered with the colors of the reef, yet shadows lingered in the corners, hinting at the darkness that lay beneath the surface. Max's curiosity was ignited, urging him to explore the relic of forgotten dreams. As Max stepped inside the theater, the air was thick with the scent of salt and decay, a bittersweet reminder of the past. Dust motes floated lazily in the dim light, and the remnants of puppets hung from the rafters like ghostly sentinels. Their once vibrant colors faded to muted hues. Max's heart raced as he ventured deeper, his fingers brushing against the cool, rough texture of the coral walls, each touch a connection to the stories that had unfolded here. Outside, the townsfolk gathered in the coral marketplace, their voices a blend of excitement and unease as they debated the revival of the puppet show. Whispers of the puppets past and the dark pact that had cursed them began to surface, creating an atmosphere thick with tension. Yet, amidst the uncertainty, Max felt a pull towards the theater, a determination to uncover its secrets and restore the town's spirit. The theater stood as a symbol of Coral Cove's forgotten dreams, and Max, with his adventurous spirit, was ready to breathe life back into its hollow shell. As he turned to leave, the shadows seemed to shift, and for a fleeting moment, he thought he saw a figure. A ghostly silhouette of a puppet, perhaps, watching him from the depths, a reminder that the past was never truly gone. Max's journey was just beginning, and the mysteries of the puppet theater awaited his discovery.